So anyway, uh, John, a fix of fence. I know I, uh, I've been uh, telling you about the chain link uh, fence components on the slide gate. And uh, by looking at the stats, I've noticed that uh, you guys out there are really kind of liking uh, some of the videos out there. So I thought, well, why not just uh, show you a little bit about some of the stock that uh, we go with chain link fence material and stuff like that. So, you know, I've got plenty of uh, fittings is what they're called. And so, I don't know, let's just, just get started on some of the fittings here. These are the uh, brace bands, okay? What's called brace bands here? I don't know. Let me get a little bit close up of it. Okay, so the brace band is for the railing. And this is the railing where the rail terminates. And, this, and so I've seen a lot of cases where uh, some people take what's called a tension band, right? And they just put tension bands up <coughs> all the way down. No, we can't do that. And so the brace band gets it close up to the post. Okay, so anyway, uh, rail ends, tension bands, it holds the tension. The brace bands hold the brace, rail ends. You guys know about the eye tops? There's different things. When you're talking about the eye tops and you want to talk about, you always talk to OD, outside diameter. So they're going to, they're, if you call the fence company and they say, hey, do you have any of these high tops? They're going to say, well, what do you need? They're going to say, uh, well, I need a 1 and 5 eighths by a 1 and 3 eighths. Okay, your 1 and 5 eighths would be your line post and your 1 and 3 eighths would be your top rail. That's if you're doing the residential or if you're doing something a little bit more heavy duty, you know. Uh, then you want to do, say, the 1 and 7 eighths by 1 and 5, you know. Um, you know, I guess a little bit more heavy duty. The one and seven eighths by one and five. <clears throat> they even have two and three eighths by one and five. I guess that's really heavy. Um, of course, we went over the track brackets in the last one for the slide gate. Um, oh, did we go over a bulldog hinge? This no, it's called a bulldog hinge. hinge, and this is more of like an industrial type of a gate hinge. Okay, so this would be like the two and seven eighths post. I think it is. Uh, we got a two and seven eighths post over here, right? Slides over there, right? Yeah. And so that'll tighten up. And then normally you get uh, once you get your gates on there, they have these called these plugs, right? And these plugs go in the gate, go in the bulldog hinge, and then your gate frame slides over that, so that it twists like that, so that it doesn't rub the. Uh, the the material down. But anyway, boom. This is a bulldog hinge, uh, butt plug, I guess you want to call it, I don't know, gate plug, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, let's see, what else uh, do I got here to go over? Oh, yeah, well, these here are basically the frame uh, post or, or post hinges, okay? They're the male part of the post hinge for the chain link, and then you have the frame hinge, the female part that goes over, okay? That's pretty simple. Um, what else? Oh, and then the fork latches. You always got to have a fork latch on your single swing gates, okay? Malleable fork latch. Uh, what else? I don't know. Uh, post caps, you know, ties, nuts and bolts, whatever it takes to put a fence together. That's what we do here at Fixing Fence.